Hey Scorpios. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening at the time that you catch this reading. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. All right, so we are going to get into this message. I'm not sure what's going to come out, so take only what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. You can have Scorpio as your sun, moon, or rising. The reading can resonate with you. And also, if you are returning, welcome back. All right, so let me put you right here. Spirit, angels, and guides, what do we have for Scorpio? Please return any blockages, low vibrational energies, any type of witchcraft, evil eye, monitoring spirits, or anything that's not of my highest good. Please return that back to its rightful owner. Return that energy back to sender, 10,000 foes, so more to be. Amen and amen. All right, overall energy for Scorpio. All right, so we have here health. And I see this fluid out the deck earlier. So we have the health card. Health issues could arise. So wow, guys, be careful. Make sure you go into your physicians, doctors, to see what is going on. So Spirit is saying there could potentially be some type of health issue that may arise, okay? All right, so let's see what this is about, okay? Let's see what this is about. Tell me about health. What is it that Scorpio needs to know in regards to their health? Spirit, angels, and guides. Hold on one second, y'all. Second. One quick moment. Okay, cool. We are good to go. We are good to go. All right, Scorpio. So let's get into this. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Tell me about health. What is it that Scorpio is needing to know? One more shuffle. And also, guys, don't forget to thumbs up, comment below if the reading resonates with you. Subscribe as well. Oh, child, everything's flowing out. Hold on. Okay. All right. Tell me about health. What is it that Scorpio needs to know in regards to health?
Thank you. All right. So, wow. We have the tower here. Mm. This health issue may come out of nowhere. It may shock you. It may be a surprise, Scorpio. And whatever this health issue may be, the Ten of Wands is here. So, it's going to make you very, very stressed and very emotional with the Moon card here. Very emotional. And as soon as you find out, for some of you, oh my gosh, a lot of you guys are going to feel like, oh my gosh, you can't get any worse. A lot of you guys are going to be praying for healing, for help. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Tell me more health. It's going to be shocking. It's going to come out of nowhere. All right. This is really going to change your world. Things are going to turn around actually for you. I don't feel like it's going to be anything bad that, you know, the universe, your spirit team or God cannot help you with. Hmm. So this is your energy, Scorpio, the Tower Wheel of Fortune. You're part of that wheel as well. But some type of change is happening. Mm. Tell me about health. Too many, too many. Clarify health for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow, we have the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. Let me move this horde. Oh, oh, look at y'all. Shook the table. <laughs> All right, so High Priestess. Hmm. I feel like you're not really going to tell anyone. I think you're going to keep quiet about it. I feel like you're not going to say anything. You may keep it to yourself. Just between you and spirit. You and the most high. What is this tower? What is the tower spirit when it comes to health? All right. So we have the eight of pentacles. Hmm. Hmm. I see the death card at the bottom of the deck. And that is you, Scorpio. What is this Eight of Pentacles? Some of you may get sick at work or while you're working. It may just come out of nowhere. What it says, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. I'm seeing this death card again, and y'all heard me shuffle. The death card and the nine of cups.
Guys, I got a feeling there's someone at your job, uh, Aries Leo or Sag, a female, that's putting some type of dark spell on you. Like, like this is giving me that death spell. It's all out of selfishness, greed, satisfaction within themselves. While I'm getting like, yeah, somebody's trying to put like a death spell on you. A female that is jealous of you, envious of you, a karmic, a Jezebel. What is this Wheel of Fortune? Thank you. King of Cups. Of course, this is you. The wheel is actually going to turn in your favor, Scorpio. You're protected, though. You're protected from whoever this is that's trying to do some type of magic or something like that, or... It's like someone is trying to put their attention on them. Hmm. Tell me about the King of Cups. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. Thank you. We have the Princess of Pentacles in this deck. Hmm. Hold on, guys. Hang on one second. <sighs> yeah, this seems like someone is, like, jealous of you at your job or something like that. And it's like they're trying to put a death spell on you. That is horrible. Oh, my car seemed kind of mixed up. Hold on, guys. So let me redo this one. Tell me about the King of Cups. All right, so let's rewrite the energy spirit. Tell me about the King of Cups. Scorpio's energy when it comes to Will of Fortune and the health card. I haven't used these cards in a while, so they, they were kind of mixed up somehow. All right, so we have the Temperance. Mm. You are an earth angel. You are. You're only 
there's like a particular angel or God, guardian, that is watching over you. Hmm. I see the death card again of the five of wands. It's, it seemed like someone is trying to like argue or fight with you at a job or something like that. And even though you're pulling back, you're not saying anything, or you're kind of keeping to yourself. There is like a particular angel, or of course, God, most high, possibly an ancestor that is protecting you. They are protecting you here from this fool. Who's trying to attack you, fight you, or something like that? If this is definitely a health issue, you're definitely emotional about it, but it's all going to work out for you. Just be patient. Wait on divine timing. There is an angel here that is covering you, shielding you, turning things around for you. What is the high priestess? It's almost like your ancestor has sent that, a particular angel down from the universe to protect and shield you. All right, so we have the hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me more, high priestess. Hmm. It's like your intuition is telling you that you need to go on solitude. Like you need to pray more, meditate more, research some things when it comes to your health. Kind of stay solid about it, especially if you're needing to get more information. Yeah, the star, a lot of you guys are going into like your own sanctuary or you're connected to your altar, sacred altar to pray. Stay hopeful. Believe that everything's going to be all right. But you're afraid. You're scared. Hold on. I hope, and what I saw in the back of the deck, I hope this is this is not someone that you may be thinking of that you're no longer with anymore. That because I see the lovers and the nine of wands, you may be afraid that someone that you had a relationship with. Yeah, you may have separated from this person that they manipulated you in some way, shape, or form, whoever this masculine is, and now they have left. They left you out of pride and ego, and you guys are no longer together anymore with the world. You may be worried that this person could have gave something to you. Yeah, it's almost like with the five of pentacles and the five of cups, you're worried that this health issue could have came from this person and you're a little stressed about it. Oh my goodness. It's like they manipulate you to get your attention and now they don't want to talk to you. And now you're at a crossroads, you don't know what to do. You just want the truth. That's not going to be for everybody. But hold on. Who is this queen? Who is this queen of wands in reverse? Something about a job situation or this can be a friend. But let's see. Who is this queen of wands in the reverse? Who is this? And this can be even a masculine who's just a whore. You know? Oh, this is someone you cut off. Queen, queen of swords here. Oh, shit. The Magician and the Three of Cups. So, this person could manipulate you into like a third-party situation with another woman or another man here. This is someone that they were dealing with. The Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. This is someone else. This is an option. Yeah, a third party. Someone here could have got pregnant. 
with the Empress and the King of Wands. Girl, this... Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, boy. Tell me more about Scorpio's energy. King of Cups. But I still feel as though you guys are protected here. What's the King of Cups? Tell me more about Scorpio's energy and the Will of Fortune when it comes to health. Thank you. All right, so we have here the Four of Cups. Child, someone here is pregnant. The Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. A third party? Yeah, 33 is here. Three of Swords, three of Pentacles. This person could have either gotten you pregnant or a third party pregnant. Y'all heard? <laughs> Y'all heard that? That ambulance that went by? Oh. That was confirmation, y'all. That's confirmation. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> yeah. You know what? The Empress and the Queen of Wands. Someone here is a Taurus. Someone here got pregnant. A third party, or either you find out you were pregnant. What the hell? What is the temperance? Let me find out this. Tell me more about the temperance. I also feel as though you was going to find out something within divine timing. So that health issue could arise. Could be that you guys may find out that you're pregnant. Possibly. <laughs> what is temperance? Child. I was like, wait, hold on. The king of swords. So eventually in divine timing, you were going to cut this person out of your life. And like I said, you're being highly protected by a particular divine angel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you cut this person off. Yep, you close the door. The world, the higher front, and the three of cups. You close the door on this relationship. You cut this person out of your life. Yep, you separated yourself from some type of relationship or family that you have with this person. Because they were juggling you. Dealing with other people. Having sex with other people. And now some of you guys may be a little scared or afraid because you gave so much to this person. And then we got the death card, eight of swords. Why well, I keep seeing this death card? And I'm thinking something different, guys, but I don't want to say right now. This person hurts your feelings. You don't want to talk to them. Yeah, something about someone is pregnant. I keep seeing this empress. Someone manipulated and put you in competition with other third party well obviously there was an ending i also feel like archangel michael was stepping in as well to this simple situation i'm about to say situation <laughs> yeah scorpio what is this the king and queen of swords is here you cut this person off because they're a whore. And now they're trying to come back to, like, trying to reconcile and heal things. You're like, hell no. Get the hell away from me. Mm-mm. All right, y'all. <laughs> y'all heard the ambulance went by, so that's confirmation for somebody. Either you're finding out you're pregnant or there's a third-party karmic that is pregnant here. All right, guys, so this is what I have. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. So take please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force any of my readings to fit. 
keep in mind tarot is past present or future this could have already happened this could be going on right now or this is going to happen in the future okay all right so peace love and light i'll see you guys on the next reading bye bye oh lord